Hello and welcome, I am Aroomba, thank you for joining me. This is the first episode of the Beyond Typist multiplayer campaign. How's it going, guys? Hello. Not too bad. I'm very well, thank you. I can't complain. Awesome. I'm joined by, uh, if you can actually see, if you're looking at the screen here, hold on, actually, that might be true. I can see it, but you can't. I'm capturing the game the wrong way. I'm a smart guy. I'll work on that between episodes, but uh, <laughs> it's the same guys from, <laughs> it's the same guys from uh, Stardew Valley. Uh, that's about all I have to say about that. Now I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Lambert, fun. tell us about the mod that you are making us all play. Uh, basically, we're playing with two main mods and a bunch of secondary ones. The main ones are Beyond Typus, which gives you like a thousand extra provinces, also changes the trade map mode, and I think there's events and stuff to do with it as well. And then we're also playing with idea variation, which lowers the cost of ideas to 250 base and also adds uh, quite a few more of them. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, it looks awesome so far. Um, there we go. I think it, I, there it's working now. I've, I've got the chat up there. Yeah. Okay. You have to use window capture, not game capture. Oh, so, you can, yeah, there's uh, there's a little button you can select on game capture. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah so Steve just playing is uh, Scotland because he's Scottish. Oh, hi, the new laddie. Yeah, that's the only reason, right? You just. That's like... Well, I mean, I, I personally wasn't going to play as Scotland <laughs> because no, I you thought were. it was too you stereotypical. Were. But uh, but yeah, Rimba made me. Well, you got the accent <laughs> for it, so. Ah, All right. Me hearty. That's, that's a pirate. <laughs> Oh, I'm fucking done. I'm done. So all these new ideas, I went with influence. You've already taken an idea group. Yeah, we already we already oh. start the game. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you don't scroll down, they mostly look the same. But yes, there are a lot of new ideas, aren't there? Yeah. And there's new policies and other things that are interesting. So. Anyway, we're probably gonna spend like an hour just like looking at the ideas. If you guys want to come back in four episodes, we'll unpause. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm a republic, so I think it's. I'm just going to go republican ideas and see what happens. It seems reasonable, right? There's new new advisors as well. I yeah, I saw that already. There's like one for really professionalism and other there's cool one for stuff. core cost, which is great. Yes. All right, cool. Uh, uh, you guys want to just unpause? We're going to try playing on what speed two to start and see if we can go up to speed three and. Um, I don't know. I, is this? I, we haven't even really decided. Is this a friendly campaign, or are we enemies? I think we should treat each other as if we're AI and ally and backstab and got it. Do enemies. all the normal stuff. <laughs> <laughs> treat as a, treat everyone as an AI enemy. Okay. So we that, are not friends. You... All right. I get it. So hopefully you guys will not take advantage of the fact that I have one province. I was going to play as Lubeck, and uh, we found the one country in the game that crashes the mod. Yeah. And uh, so I, I don't get to play as that. Oh, my uh, my list of potential friends is quite short. I guess I'm going to try Republic Ideas, see what this one's all about. Uh, I guess I'm Castile. So I'll go for... Oh, wait, there's another idea, isn't there? There's Catholic ideas. Yeah, Catholic oh, and religious. We can get Deus Fault early on our Catholic Ooh. idea. This is exciting. We can get we can get so many points of innovativeness because <laughs> there's so many ideas. Scotland. Oh, by the way, I'll be, I'll be selling uh, knowledge to people for the what? Renaissance. What did you, you... You just rejected a marriage offer from Kildare like 18 times. No, it wasn't me. Yeah, it was you. I, I'm, I'm, my whole map is covered in... That's what you get. Oh, by the way, oh, um, yeah, set me as interest. the Punk. player map mode, as Arumba is playing one province minor in Aachen because he thinks he's better than everyone else. We've got Stijo in Scotland because he's Scottish, and then we've got Zippy in Castile because he needs a big country because he's terrible at the game. I really am. I want, I want to point out, uh, I'm probably the weakest player in this entire series. Uh, in order to prepare for this series, I did a practice run, 
uh, as uh, Byzantium. And within about two hours, I had managed to get two different coalition wars declared on me at the same time as Byzantium. I, I think I think it's impressive, to be honest. It's certainly something. The only countries that will ally me, ally me are the little 1 p.m.s next to you, uh, Lambert. Yeah, no it's, be my it's the same as for me, actually. Everyone hates me. And also, the AI got to play my country for two months while we were doing setup, so I don't get to set like rivals and stuff. Apparently, you would ally me. Oh, would I? Mm, uh, you, you'd like to. You'd like to think so. <laughs> Seems like uh, estates are unchanged, though. I have insufficient support with one cavalry. I'm only allowed to have 30% cavalry to infantry ratio by base. Huh. And yet the game spawned me with insufficient support, like unit balance. That's interesting. Oh my god, and the base manpower is so small. There's no maximum at uh, 10,000. How many uh, How many hours have you played this, Lambert? This mod? Uh, for this mod? Yeah, you said you've been playing it for a while. 50 max, maybe more like 30. A little bit of an advantage. Uh, a wee bit. I, I've been playing with idea variation on and off for thousands of hours, though. The first ever campaign I have on YouTube uses idea variation. Nice. And it, it just seems refreshing, I think. Yeah. It's, it's very... It's different. It always brings up something new. I like that. It's nice to see I have a smaller army and force limit than all of my rivals. Good job, AI. Picking uh, enemies I can never beat. It's brilliant. I'll well, insult uh, them. I was rivaled by Austria, so I suppose you don't have that against you. Rivaled nice. by Austria. Are you in, You're in the Empire, right? Yes. Yeah, you, there are so many provinces. Oh my gosh. There are... 109 princes. Wow. I can already feel the game kind of running differently. Like it runs a little slower, maybe. And yeah. yes, de development is a lot higher, but if you look at the uh, effect of development, production is half as strong. In vanilla, one base production is 0.2 goods produced, and in this mod, it's only 0.1. But the development cost is really, really small. It's only 24. Interesting. It's like everything's cut in half just to inflate the development numbers or something? I don't know. Seems like that. Aha! First in the world to take diplomatic mission, Republican idea. I am innovative. Uh, yay. I'm not going to be taking an idea just yet. I'm going to wait. I'd rather have the tech advantage. Betray oh. the... Ghibelines? Looks like Ghibeline. The jelly... The jelly babies? What? What are the gibberlines? Uh, Interestingly, the AI started off improving with Burgundy and France. Like, <laughs> I'm terrified by them. I mean, wouldn't you be? Aren't you? I wouldn't use my diplomat actions on something like that at the start of the game, no. That is not what I wanted to do. Well, let's see how good Mr. Uh, wow. <laughs> Syndic Ludwig is. What'd you do? What happened? Oh my god, it's so so difficult to play this without being able to pause. You can pause. Go ahead. What do you need? What, what'd you do? Oh, wrong? it's alright. I don't need to pause now. It's fine. <laughs> I've got literally zero army to pause for. You stack, get yourself stack wiped, huh? Yeah. Well well done. Switzerland is leading oh, a trade right. league. Are you yeah, fighting? well, I got the. I grabbed the old alliance and got pulled into the uh, Hundred Year War. Oh, jeez. Why would you wait? You should always wait. I know, I know. You're supposed to wait till after France and England start, and then you do the alliance with France. So That's where right. do I was, you want to I was be actually placed? just wanting to what save nation? some money, you know? <laughs> you silly Scotsman. That's just that's just silly. Oh, there's new buildings as well. That's what I, another thing, idea variation at. Including the blue ones at the bottom, you actually have to take um, idea groups to be able to build them. Which are pretty cool. And I think they also are part of the reason why the game crashed. 
it's possible. possible. Yeah, if you're playing this mod, don't click on Lubeck. Don't don't look at its buildings. It's not worth it. Well, for now anyway. Yeah. But my my general is a fearsome five fire, one shock leader. He doesn't realize that cannons haven't been invented yet. Fire value, huh? I'm friends with the Pope. Whoa. The mod numbers are all different here, too. 0.5 fire value for infantry and 0.95 shock value. It's a lot higher than normal. Shock is, like, really skewed. And also, cavalry have a little bit of fire value at the start of the game. Interesting. Well, how did they get that? You're Arkan. Yes. Just, Constance wants a military access with me. It's because I've declared war. Yeah. I mean, I will give I'm... him military access if he wants to come down here and... I don't know, run away or something. I would actually rather improve relations with like the Emperor over Burgundy. Like, I'm protected. Why would the AI do that? Man, a, an advisor with dev cost minus 10%. That sounds amazing, except it's not really because development is half as expensive anyway, and... I don't know. And now I gotta like I gotta figure out this math. <laughs> oh, I don't have a union with Aragon. I thought I started with one. No. What, what the hell? Happen? So if you spend monarch points to develop a province, it gives monthly tax income plus 0 0.08 and tax income minus 0 0.5. Is that how they like do they cut the effective base tax in half? I think or so. Something? I think so. Okay. I'm not entirely sure. It looks like that's the case. Like, everything's just cut in half, basically, for some reason. Alright, fair enough. Mm. Uber. Interesting, they also seem to have nerfed the base reinforcement rate in a province that you don't control. Instead of it being 50%. Actually, no, 10%. That's normal. I think I'm overthinking the changes. Like, oh, this is different. It's not different. Suddenly very quiet. Are you all playing or are you just gone? I'm, <laughs> I'm looking for people to attack. I'm, everyone around me is a one province miner, but they're allied to everyone. I'm maneuvering my boats so they don't get wiped. I'm just uh, staring at all these numbers and pretending like I know what any of them mean. Oh, I have I, way more cores in this. I was so I excited. Cores all the way down to Padua. I was excited about the first religious, like, the first Republican idea that gives Diplo relations plus two, because I thought, ooh, I'll have six relationship slots. Now, it turns out that the base relationships is two. So, it basically just gets me back to basics. I have five slots now. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've got four at the moment. Oh, um, my missions are different. But I feel different. Prepare yeah. Reconquista. I need to have both my army and my navy uh, maxed out. Yeah, that's not changed. Oh. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how bad I am. So, it's so, all good. The only campaigns that, that I've played that have lasted for longer than 100 years have been Castile campaigns, and I don't remember how the missions go. Come on, Franz. You can do it. <laughs> I very nearly just lost my war because I tried to get another army like to like reinforce quicker and the AI instantaneously jumped on the military access route that I'd opened up and came to attack it. Ooh, there's 200. Uh, I guess you're just uh, holding a, a tiny stack on Sarbrooken while you go and siege someone else. Yeah, how can you see that? Uh, well, I click on Sarbrook and I can see who's sieging. It's oh, right. 222 infantry. I don't know where he went or how he has access somewhere that I don't. That's really annoying. Are you just attacking for show strength? Yeah. Well, either that or, so. or for Humiliate. 
I'd like to get the Splendor growth early game against an OPM. It's it's just like the easiest way to get early game Splendor. Yeah. I already start off with a large city, so I think I'm okay with that. You have a 50 development city? Um, Milan itself is... No, it's 39. Yeah, but in the mod, you need to be up to 50. I believe it's wrong because it it's also says uh, 41 out of 32. Huh. So, oh. yeah, it's it's just wrong. Lucky you, I guess. Yeah, 39 is definitely my highest. So I think you just need 32. Oh, I've got a uh, 31 as well. Okay, back to making progress on my siege. Reinforcement seems god awful in enemy territory. It is no, this is not right. I, I don't have any maneuver pips, but in ten percent reinforcement while doing an enemy's like an uh, offensive siege, that is way lower than normal. Yeah, a lot of things have changed. Yeah, and you're used to it. That, that makes it so that maneuvers even more valuable than normal. I think. No yeah, so you want those maneuver bitches. <laughs> yeah, I had fun. That was a uh, reference to the stream earlier today. I, I, I named a general after Lambert, and he was really, really good, but he wasn't as good as the other generals. He had I really high better, maneuver. I was better. I was better. No, no, you rolled so many zeros, ones, and twos. You are fired. I had I had bad luck, <laughs> but my general itself was yeah. superior. Yeah. No, but your luck stat is awful, and so you're fired. Luck or you, you're. What is this? What is this? It's it's a mechanic in game that determines whether or not you suck, <laughs> and you do, in in that game. No, this didn't happen though. God, the burgers owned. Sorry, the nobles owned so much of my land. So I don't know. So in Will this the mod French now, use boats? will the French build you boats? What? Will they use boats? They can't. There's Against no way. England? Not no, like. they'll they'll never cross the strait. You're screwed, man. You need to peace out as soon as he'll let you. Because France cannot help you. You're going to get full occupied. <laughs> Fortunately, He's you have halfway enough, there already. You oh, have yeah, enough development that he can't actually uh, like full annex you or anything. But That's okay. This was my plan. <laughs> Only yeah. just. It's 110%. Oh, I figured out what my long-term goal is. I'm gonna try to make some money off of uh, helping Scotland out. But first, Reconquista. Yeah, I feel like my um, idea, my first I national idea, idea cost negative ten percent. It's nowhere near as powerful as I thought it would be. I mean, national, yeah. Better. 10%, that's only 20, like 25 points per idea, right? Yeah. What was that, Zibi? I don't remember the uh, Reconquista mission requiring uh, a percentage of my manpower to be uh, ready to go. That was that's with the... That's not a mod change. No, that was a recent change to missions or something. When they mm -hmm. did the mission re -update. You gotta use mercs if you want to trigger it right away. Fancy. That, or you can use exploit development. Oh yeah, yeah, I can do that. You I, start I with a truce anyway, so it's not super necessary. Yeah, that's why I haven't like done anything about it. I'm, I'm prepared to bide my time. I need to learn to use mercenaries more often though, because every single time I get into a war in this game, my manpower immediately plummets to zero. Because I tend to get stack wiped pretty quickly. <laughs> well, just don't. I don't know. I'll 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 have like an army that's like bigger and better than the other army with a better general and I don't know the the dice are loaded I don't know what yeah, is uh, I'm sure that's how it works land reclamations you just spend gold to reduce development cost hmm. is are you looking at development ideas no I'm looking at the admin tech 4 it unlocks some, some buildings land clearing land rec reclamation oh, land yeah, yeah. protection you might want to have a look at development ideas. The first idea there, um, state investments are important to blah, blah, blah. Decision to invest money to increase development. That's an so, admin idea? Yeah. Okay. Decision to invest money to increase development. 
So you have to have that to build those buildings? No, no, no. Um, the, I think the first admin tech you take will let you build the buildings, but I'm just saying that um, the that idea, uh, sorry, yeah, that idea group development ideas are quite strong because of state investments, the first idea in it. I've also, taken it once. Basically, you get the decision, you click it, and then you have to spend the money uh, when you click the button. Uh, but then I think like a few random provinces gain like one, one, one. I'm not okay. sure how many though. Also, did you guys do your, did you focus on anything? Any monarch point generation in particular? Yeah. No. Because I did, and I got a country modifier called Administrative Focus, Advisor Cost minus 20, Yearly Republic, Republican Tradition plus 0.5, and Monthly Autonomy Change. I did not expect that. That's awesome. I did not know that. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I start with the uh, Marshall Focus. What do you have? You, get, you should have a bonus, I would assume. They should Marshall probably do Focus, the same. Manpower Recovery Speed plus 30%, Land Force Limit Modifier plus 20%, and Monthly War Exhaustion minus 0 0.01. Awesome. Cool. Well, uh, this is going to be the end of the episode, I think, here. Uh, we're going to be back uh, same time, same place tomorrow, and hopefully we'll know what the hell we're doing with this mod, and uh, hopefully Stija will still be alive. I don't know. That country's... <laughs> hopefully. Oh, my looking, God. Um, looking fully occupied right now. literally just your vassal. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, we'll see you guys same time, same place tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Later.